There are two very strong and important reasons why politicians need to encourage Australians to invest in residential real estate. The first and most immediate one is that this is the best and fastest solution to the rental shortage crisis. But the second and more long-term reason is that in a country with an aging population, we need to encourage people to provide for their own retirement through investment, which is the polar opposite of what's been happening throughout the past five or six years across Australia. We've been discouraging people from investing in real estate and the country will suffer both short-term and long-term consequences from the stupidity and short-sightedness of our politicians. If we don't turn around this issue and provide incentives for people to invest for their retirement, we face the same agony that we're currently seeing happening in France, where they're attempting to extend the retirement age amid widespread and sometimes violent protests. In Australia, according to new research, we'll also need to keep increasing the retirement age because the number of people seeking to be supported by the, the pension and the unsustainable cost to the federal budget. Australia's pension age will in fact rise to 67 on the 1st of July this year, but according to research, we will need to increase it further. And a new report from Macquarie University's Business School says Australia's pension system will require a pension age of 70 to be sustainable amid a fast growing group of very old retirees. It's suggesting a rise to 68 by 2030 and to 69 by 2036 and then 70 by 2050. Macquarie University statistician Professor Hanlon Shang says, as Australians live longer than before, it presents a challenge to the government to fund retirees through a pension scheme. Raising the pension age is the obvious way to sustain the current pension scheme without collecting more taxes. But there are alternatives. And the best one is to provide incentives for people to invest, including in shares and superannuation, but with real estate a preferred choice because it would also address the short-term shortage of rental properties. In recent years, politicians have been doing the opposite. They've been discouraging, penalizing and punishing people who own investment properties. And that's been causing more and more people to opt out on property investment. And the result from that is the lowest vacancy rates on records and rapidly rising rents. And fewer and fewer people who will be able to fund their retirements through investments.